A fun-filled digital literacy day. For some learners, this was not just a battlefield, but a learning platform. Teamwork is also a crucial component of the discipline. I'm very proud of the decision I made that day because um, if I didn't join the robotics, I wouldn't have realized how much fun it is and how important it is. Not just what I do, but how I do it and with the people I do it. From the help of everyone on our team and our sir, we got the robotics, like the manuals and stuff for the build, for the arena and the code. We all did not know about anything about robotics, but we all we all prepared and came together and put our brains together and made the code and made the robot possible. One of the youngest learners in the competition is 11-year-old Ashlyn Adams. She recently came on board. What inspired me to join Korean Robotics was for me in order to try something new. The interest in robotics is also growing. The interest in robotics, in coding and robotics, is, I'm telling you, tremendous. So what we need to do is, as organizers of events like this, we need to seek for sponsorship to get more equipment available for more teams to, that, that to participate in a competition of this nature and this magnitude. We are at the point where um, we can't estimate anymore how many learners we have ready to come on board, to come and participate. Learners are running, but there's also others that we're leaving behind because of a lack of resources. Springbots SA plans on opening learning hubs in all provinces across the country to equip learners with digital literacy. We actually would like to create Springbot hubs around South Africa. So in each province we'd like to have a hub where young people can go to after school to do their homework, to learn basic computer skills, to learn about robotics and STEM education and just create a space that allows for innovation in South Africa. So we really believe that talent is dispersed equally but opportunities are not. So by creating these Springbot hubs we really believe that we can touch more lives. Two teams from today's competition will participate in the national competition next month. Nandipa Blaki, SABC News, Kabecha.